incredibly excited because I get to reveal code that was thought to never work on just the Arduino. 64 times 64 subsampling resolution from the AMG8833 chip. It has been a month in development and optimizations like bandwidth compression and buffers have sped things up dramatically. I've made the code available on GitHub as I work on it. I've created GUIs for false table color creation. I've posted an article on how to speed up driving the LCD display. It works similar to how traffic does, in this case one pixel of data at a time. Normally data stops and starts to allow other data to pass through, but if you control the flow properly and allow several sets of data to pass at once, such as 16 pixels, you get very efficient, and it is possible to speed it up more like a highway, getting the data to the screen at really high speeds. After working on that and publishing my work, I designed a shell casing for my project to fit into and posted it on Thingiverse. I included several images and detailed diagrams of how to build it. I'm also going to be doing an Instructables file and we'll upload it soon. Uh, the design was originally done in OpenSCAD. Okay, moment of truth. We put it in Cura and we're about ready to hit print and we're going to see what happens. This is designed to be printed in one piece. six hours to complete and now it's ready. Now to figure how to put all this together. As always be careful. Learn from me. I got three, two or three cuts. All right looks like it's working. Looks like uh, everything's turning on. The sensor is working. The readout's working. Now let's give it something to look at. So what I decided to do is have my bed at a constant temperature and show you what 64 by 64, 32 by 32 resolution looks like. And let's go down to 16 by 16. It should be coming up here shortly. 16 by 16. It's starting to look ugly. And then 8 by 8 resolution, which is the default that it comes with with the normal programming. This is a side-by-side -side comparison of all of them. Hopefully you'll agree with me, the bottom one on the right is the most detailed one, shows the most luminescence data. Alright, now let's look at some uses. We can make sure that that pizza is really as cold as it should be coming from the freezer. We can verify our son's body heat and that he is not a real zombie. And make sure his soda is cold. Now let's look at practical uses. We can look at heat loss between doors and windows. This here shows uh, the daytime, how outside air is hotter than the inside air, and this is good for insulation purposes and for troubleshooting and reducing energy costs. We can look at plumbing temperatures and even see the water flowing down into the drain. There are also several other uses like checking insulation and things. Anyway, I spent a lot of time working on this. I hope it's of use to you, and I'll include links to the files uh, below. Have a good day.